Hey everyone, welcome to the world of skull carving. Hunter here. Uh, today we're working on a cow skull. Um, what I'm going to do here today is a combination of carving and painting. So this is more of a decor piece. What I'm going to do is I've got uh, a pattern I've created. It's basically a honeycomb. Um, and the shape is hexagonal. And I just took an eraser, cut out the shape, and got some ink. And what I'm going to do is uh, tr put a pattern, stamp a pattern onto the skull of a honeycomb. Just kind of do it uh, kind of random. And then with, within each of those uh, spots, I'm going to carve out kind of a divot and then fill it with paint. Uh, different colors. I'm looking more like a bright, uh, random colors uh, to, to kind of give it this um, old yet modern feel again I'm I'm thinking uh, of the the market that I'm going after here um, but we're gonna we're gonna transfer the pattern onto there first then do the carving and then the painting and I'll, I'll take you through the whole process Okay, so the thing that seems to be working the best. Okay, so the thing that seems to be working the best as far as cutting out the little honeycombs here is a number 115 grinding bit um, or high speed cutter, as Jimmer would put it. Okay, so I'm just taking it and each side, since there's six sides, just grinding it down. I'll do all one side, turn the skull, do the next side, and I'll go all the way around. And then I, I still use this to hollow out the inside. So I did a couple right here, if you can see. And it comes out nice and... Uh, clean and square if you can use that term so I'm gonna keep going and uh, finish this all up Okay, so I made out like a bandit on this project just because my wife is crafty and she's got all kinds of paints. I'm going to give them uh, a try. So I got water paint, acrylic, and I'm going to give nail polish a try. Yeah. So I'll start painting and we'll see which one works best. have it the honeycomb cow couple things um, acrylic and oil are the best options for paint uh, do not use watercolor and nail polish uh, tends to seep into the bone around it so the color kind of spreads so that's not a good option but acrylic and oil best option uh, again turned out pretty good. Hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will post pictures up on Facebook as well. Alright, till next time.